Hey everyone! Um, so today I'm going to go through my hook collection, um, show you the different hooks that I have. Um, particularly in 2020 I started collecting custom hooks. These are uh, where people mainly on Etsy but some other websites um, take hooks and wrap them in polymer clay to give them thicker handles but they also make it pretty which is a nice um so i thought I'd just go through all my different hooks if you're interested i've been promising to make this video for a while so here we are um if you happen to see my previous video um about uh what you need for a beginner kit you will have seen this this is the knit pro waves set um, it is a basic set excellent for beginners who want a few hooks but don't want to spend tons of money i think it was around 24 pounds it's somewhere around that still i believe you can get it on a lot of places online you can also find lots of sets that look like this. Um, they are very basic, flat-handled uh, hooks. This particular set uh, goes from two millimeter to six millimeter, but that's what they look like. So they're just thin, uh, flat, rubberized handles with a, a metal shaft in the different sizes. Um, but perfectly usable, particularly if you're a beginner, so you can get used to how to hold a hook, uh, either right or left-handed, just demonstrating in my left hand. Um, yeah, so I do recommend it for beginners who don't have a big budget, but want a few hooks to start with. And it comes in this handy case uh, to keep them all so you don't lose them and it zips up and everything. Um, yeah, and occasionally I still dip into this if I need a hook right away and I can't get hold of one of my others. Um, I also have a lot of free hooks. So I used to have a subscription to a crochet magazine here in the UK and I still occasionally buy crochet magazines. There's about three that I'm kind of like okay with uh, that get printed and sold here. I think there's a few more. Uh, we do get one. Oh no, sorry. That one was discontinued. <laughs> I was going to say we used to get one from the States, but I don't think they publish it anymore. But a lot of times they give away free hooks. So um, one of the things I have gotten free in magazines are uh, Tony Tunisian hooks. Let's see if we can get the Hello. Tunisian hooks. So Tunisian hooks are regular crochet hooks that are just really long, um, like a knitting needle. So Tunisian crochet is kind of halfway between regular crochet and knitting. So these are two different ones I've gotten in magazines. There's a metal one and um, a double-ended, you can see there, double-ended wooden or bamboo one. This one is five millimeter. The metal one is four millimeter. It has a little stop on it like knitting needle. Uh, so I don't really use those because uh, I don't do Tunisian crochet too much while I'm um, doing this, uh, doing my tutorials on YouTube, uh, just because I think t Tunisian crochet is a little bit more advanced. So I wouldn't recommend it for beginners um, until you're really comfortable with stitches and using hooks in general. Um, but if you are a knitter, you might find Tunisian crochet right up your alley. Um, I've also gotten fun things like this uh, keychain with these three little hooks. There's a five millimeter, um, a four millimeter, and a three millimeter 
hook. Um, I don't use these for crochet. It's just a cool little keychain I got with a magazine several years ago now. Um, so shout out if you got this uh, keychain set of three little metal hooks. I mean, they're too small for me to use. I mean, they might be cool for a child to learn with, um, or if you're somebody who has really deft fingers. Um, yeah, and I've gotten loads of free wooden hooks over the years, sets of hooks. Um, I've given a lot of them away because I don't really use bamboo hooks, uh, to be honest. They're right for some things. Um, I've used them as dowels when I need to have uh, several colors. For instance, when I'm doing a, a C to C corner to corner uh, style item. So dowels are really useful in that. Um, but I have all different sizes. I won't even go through every size I've got here, but I've got a bunch. I just know I've given away at least twice that many <laughs> over the years. Um, I did get this fun four millimeter. I think this is made by Prim, if I'm not mistaken, but it's got a cute little uh, stitch marker charm on the end. So I've just kept it because it's kind of, it's kind of cool. Um, now these are the ones I've bought. Um, so this is a large uh, hook. You could use this for Tunisian crochet, depending on how big the item is, but it's kind of cool because it's got this big eye on the bottom. So you can use it as your yarn needle, your tapestry needle, um, instead of an actual needle. So I actually really like that. I have used this occasionally. I've got another one, a smaller one. These I think I just bought at um, Wilco, uh, Wilkinson's, which is a kind of, which is a chain here that's very similar to old fashioned Woolworths, um, which is of course now out of business in the US and the UK and pretty much the rest of the world. I think they still have them in Australia or somewhere, like one or two, um, not sure. But I'm sure I've seen that. But these are kind of cool. I like they have the eye on them. Um, and this is another, this is just kind of a standard hook. You probably see these a lot in the States. Um, again, I got this at Wilco. So this was kind of early on in my journey. I just bought a bunch of hooks when I saw them. Now I'll get into my kind of more fancy hooks. Uh, so I've got these two jars, well, jars, mugs <laughs> of hooks. I need a better way to keep my hooks. Um, but uh, so as I mentioned in my other video, I started with clover hooks. So besides that Knit Waves um, Pro, knit, sorry, Knit Pro Waves, I always get it wrong. I also bought a bunch of clover hooks at different points. Um, so I'll just show you these. So the very first one I ever had was the five millimeter, which is this nice blue. And again, these are a matte rubber. They're a little bit thicker than the Knit Pro ones. They do have a thumb rest area. They have good metal shafts it's matte as well um i just find that better it, it helps with splitting and things like that their their tips are not too pointy but they're not blunt um so it helps you go through stitches pretty good so i think you know out of all the hook companies in the world if you you know can afford a little bit more per hook or per set um Clover is one uh, to get involved with. Um, so I have that. And then I bought a 4.5 millimeter hook, which is the next side down. And then I got some of their larger hooks. Their larger hooks do tend to have plastic shafts instead of metal, which I'm not a big fan of. I've not had a problem with Clover's ones. Um, so they're fine, but I do prefer metal shafts where possible. 
So uh, this is a 6.5, the green one. The yellow one is a seven. This pink one is an eight. And then I've got a little green one. So I tried to do some um, amaragumi, but I, I really don't like doing it. It's really, it's not hard. Um, and it's good, I think, you know, for people starting out in crochet to make something smaller. I just don't enjoy working with small yarn and small hooks. So this is a 2.0, <laughs> uh, two millimeter. Yeah. Uh, so that's my clover hook. So I don't have tons of them because I never needed more than that. And I had a few other hooks anyway. So I've always had everything I need hook wise usually. Um, so that's my clovers. And I've got some other random special ones. So I've got these two hooks. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see really well, but it's a set of Wallace and Gromit hooks. So there's Wallace. This is the five point uh, five millimeter. And this is the Gromit hook. And it's a four millimeter. And I got these free in a magazine um, with a whole Wallace and Gromit kit. So it had stitch markers and pins, um, I think a measuring tape and a little bag. And it also had um, yarn needles in it. And I actually gave all the other stuff away to a friend who said she wanted to learn to crochet because I never used those things. I had my own different ones, but I like the hooks. I've always been a huge old Wallace and Gromit fan. Um, so yeah, I was really pleased to be able to get Wallace and Gromit. Uh, hooks and I do use them all the time actually and so some free ones some more free ones I've got um this is like no name unbranded unnamed hook that I got it's quite a small hook I think I'm not sure what size it is anymore I can't read it <laughs> um but I just kept it because it, it looks nice I got that free in a magazine um I did show you my Bella Coco in that other one, other video, but I don't know what I did with it. So here's another one, just a random metal one, a three millimeter, a 3.5 millimeter green. And is that all my free ones? I have a random Knit Pro <laughs> uh, one because I, it's a five millimeter because I kept losing the other one from the, the set. So I had to go out and buy this. Um, I was like in desperate need of a five millimeter hook and I didn't have any other ones at the time. And I couldn't find my clover one, I couldn't find this one. Um, it was kind of in a time when we were having our flat renovated. So uh, yeah, a lot of stuff was just put away and hidden and I couldn't find anything. So I ran out. So you can buy these here in the UK in like yarn shops and sewing places. Um, but you can't buy clover ones. Like they don't even know what they are. I remember asking three different shops if they had clover hooks and they were just like, what? <laughs> so, um, they're not, they're not common over here, I guess, unless you buy them online. Uh, yeah. So those, um, I have a random, this is lion brand. It's a big plastic 10 millimeter hook. You'll see me, use this in my beginner uh, early videos and talk about using this in your beginner kit. It's, it works fine with big yarn. It's, um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a good enough hook. It has a nice thick plastic shaft. So um, I think it works, works well. And yeah, does the job. It's totally fine. And then I have an Addy. So a lot of you will know Addy. They make uh, knitting machines as well as hooks and all kinds of knitting and crochet stuff. And this was just a pretty, I don't know if you can appreciate it, it's kind of um, acrylic with gold in it. It's just really pretty. This is an eight millimeter. So I originally bought this because I was making some hats for charity um, that used like a chunkier wool. So basically I was using double Aaron and this worked perfectly with that. I find this works really good. Um, so when I was using Sirdar Smudge, which is a velvet yarn, 
it worked perfectly with that. Um, yeah. So I do like, I would like to get some more Addy hooks. They keep eyeing, they have sets of these gold ones or different color ones on Amazon or different sites. So I keep thinking I'm going to get one and I never, I never do, but someday. Um, I have a Furls. So if you're in America, you probably know Furls quite well. They are expensive for hooks though. They tend to, but they make really nice hooks. They're very ergonomic. Um, and they make these, so this is the, these are the kind of acrylic plastic ones. Um, I forget, I think it's called Galaxy, this line. Um, so I got the cherry, cherry one. Um, it's a six millimeter, but you see how thin the shaft is at the top where the, where the actual hook is and the hook itself is very short um, and thin. Uh, a lot of people complain about these breaking. Um, they do have metal versions. I've never bought any because they're so expensive. I ended up getting this because um, during our first lockdown, um, they started selling their hooks over in the UK. So you didn't have to pay shipping from the US, but they only had limited, but they were doing kits um, for lockdown. You get a ball of yarn and a hook and a pattern. Um, so it was a little bit a nicer. So I think I spent 25 pounds, got the hook. I got two balls of yarn. Um, yeah. Uh, but they're about 22 pounds. These, um, yeah, they're not cheap. I mean, they make nice hooks, but they're not cheap. And I know people have had problems with them snapping. Uh, I've never had a problem. I have used this a few times. I just, it's not my favorite because the hook is so um, small. Uh, I just don't like it. Let me see if I can find my other six. So five. Okay, so this is a six hook. I think this is uh this might be a boy hook or um susan bates i think but you see how much thicker the shaft is and the hook head is if you compare that um it's hard to see i think with the word i'm trying to like show you the back of my arm is not cooperating but yeah um so it's, it's an okay hook. It works. Uh, I've not had a problem using it so far. We'll see. Um, I do like, they're always advertised on Facebook at me and I'm always like, Oh, they're so pretty. There's some really nice looking ones. I do want to get more. Um, but they're just too expensive to buy individually like that. Even the sets are like hugely expensive. Okay. So since I got this one out, this is, um, from a seller on Etsy here in the UK called Hannah Mays, M-A-Y-S crochet. Um, and she, she takes these Susan Bates and boy hooks and, um, wraps them in polymer with, and she usually has like a nice coating on it and they're always sparkly inside. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on this one, but she does lots of different colorways. Um, she's always coming out with new ones. I really love hers. They're not too expensive. They're usually like around like nine or 10 pounds per hook. Um, so whenever I'm looking for a specific size, I go see what, what one she's got going on. So that's my six millimeter. And I've got a couple of fives from her as well. So this is the first one of hers I ever bought. Uh, it's a cherry blossom. I love it. Uh, I love cherry blossoms. So just FYI, they're my favorite, 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 um, tree flower. Um, yeah. So when I saw this last year, this was literally like the first custom hook I bought. Um, I fell in love and then I started buying more from her. So I've got, um, well, even more. So this is uh, another five millimeter. Uh, it's blue and pink and white and sparkly. And then this is a four millimeter with purple, turquoise, and green. And 
I've got this one. I love this one. I actually want to get more of this colorway, this kind of rainbow swirl. She does have a few others. Her sell out quick though, so you have to kind of get in there. This is a three millimeter, and then I have a 3.5. It's kind of purple, sparkle, brindle waves. Yeah, so I have quite a few from <laughs> Hannah Mays. Um, and you can follow her on Instagram as well, but she does make a really cool looking hooks and she always gives them a little stitch marker to go with your hook. And then, um, there's, uh, a company or not company, a maker on Etsy called Karu Clay or Kuru Clay, K-O-R-U, I think. Um, so I have a couple of hooks. And I think she uses boy, not sure. This is quite a thick one. This is an eight millimeter. Um, and I think she always sells this colorway because I always see it on her shop, but it's like this beautiful gradient purple with the stars and the moon and it's got sparkle in it and beautiful purple hook. And then I showed this in an unboxing video I got from her as well. It's a 5.5. It's the pink Floyd dark side of the moon logo. Um, and then I asked her to put, or yeah, MX crochet, sorry, it's backwards on, um, on the hook for me. Uh, yeah. And it's, it's really cool. And I think this is from Karu as well. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. I'll put it on screen. Um, but this is a beautiful yellow splatter paint uh, effect one. And this is, I think, a 6.5 millimeter. Yeah, 6.5. So a lot of times they put the hook size on the bottom uh, or on the, the handle. And then um, there's a really, this actually might be from Pedro's Platts. I'm not sure, I'll have to check. Um, but Pedro's Plax, um, they do kind of more 3D style ones. Uh, so I got this cool cat with flowers in pink. And this is, uh, I can't read it. This is a six millimeter hook. So you see theirs go all the way up the handle. So I think these are boy hooks because they're a little bit shorter. I think boy hooks tend to be shorter than uh, Susan Bates our hero um but we don't get those here in the states usually because they're american um so we usually get european ones like you'll see prim and pony a lot in shops here uh just like plastic ones like really uninteresting <laughs> um, and then obviously those metal ones which were like wilco own brand or something but i got this flamingo my mom lives in Florida, so I got a little flamingo to remember uh, her by. I mean, she's still alive, but <laughs> I don't know. It just reminded me of my mom. So it's got flowers. Yeah, really nice flowers. Pretty blue color. It's a five millimeter. Um, so Pedro's plaques, they make really cool ones. Um, and I'll have to look up the person on Etsy I got this one from. Um, yeah, I just liked the look of it. <laughs> kind of goofy. Uh, it was, I think it was called birthday cake or something like that. Um, but the lovely sprinkles, sparkly white on the inside. Just a little funky. To be honest, I don't really use it. It's not that comfortable to hold because of all the little sprinkles. It doesn't hurt or anything, but it's just a bit weird. Um, so this was, I think, yeah, this was a four millimeter, um, but I'll put up on the screen that I got that from on Etsy and then some other random Etsy ones I'll have to put on screen. Um, so this was, a a rainbow, a pretty pastel rainbow one. It's a five millimeter. It's just a flat. Um, I don't really use it because it's just a flat. It doesn't add anything to it. It just makes it look pretty. Um, same thing with this. I think this is a 
a 4.5 millimeter, but it's kind of like a Knit Pro Waves one. It's just flat, so it's got a wrap on it, but it is pretty. So I bought them because they were pretty, and I just have them in my collection sitting there looking pretty. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I mean, those are mostly the hooks that I that I use. So whatever I'm making, I'm using those. You'll see them in videos, obviously, when I'm doing tutorials. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think about my hook collection. If you own any hooks from any of these sellers on Etsy or any of the other ones, uh, you can also mention in the comments your favorite uh, customizers on Etsy or other sites. I'm always interested in taking a look. I tend to buy ones from the UK, but um, yeah, if you've got ones in the US, since I know most of my viewers are in the US at the moment, uh, do a link below or just give a shout out. Always happy to check uh, small businesses out and help them out if I can. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought. Do um, check out one of the other videos that's going to be all linked here. And as always, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment. All of that helps the channel grow. The more you like, subscribe, um, comment, etc. It pushes my video out to other people who might like this content. And I do appreciate it. So until next time, bye.